Hello, good evening, everyone. How is everyone on this evening, this Thursday evening? I want to give you an update. Uh, the U.S. Capitol rioter, who said he believed he was following Trump's orders, found guilty on all charges. Now, this is coming from CNN Politics. And so uh, he was one of the rioters, um, Dustin Thompson. He is a 38-year-old exterminator from Ohio. Now, he, was, he has faced six charges, obstructing an official proceeding, theft of government property, illegal entering the Capitol, illegal, uh, illegally protesting in the Capitol, and two counts of disorderly conduct in the Capitol. Now, uh, he believed, he claimed, he was following presidential orders when he stormed the U.S. Capitol and stole liquor and a coat rack, and he was convicted Thursday, which is today, on all charges by a jury in Washington, D.C. Now, um, after the verdict, the federal judge, Reggie Walton, blasted former President Donald Trump's conduct. Now, this is the first time that I've heard of a judge blasting Donald Trump's conduct, but he says uh, the insurgency, and it was in effect, that is very troubling, Walton said. I think our democracy is in trouble because, unfortunately, we have uh, charlatans like the former president, in my view, who don't care about democracy and only care about power. Now, the trial marked the first time a Capitol riot defendant tried to convince a jury that Trump was responsible for the violence on January 6, 2021. Thompson's lawyer told the jury, excuse me, Thompson's lawyer told the jury, that uh, told the jury, excuse me, that Trump was an evil and sinister man who had incited the riot with his incendiary uh, speech at the Ellipse, where he told his supporters to march to the Capitol and fight like H-E-L-L hockey sticks. Now, Thompson had testified that he believed he was acting at the behest of Trump. Besides being ordered by the president to go to the Capitol, I don't know what I was thinking. Thompson told the jury Wednesday, I was caught up in the moment. If the president is giving you almost an order to do something, I felt obligated to do that, Thompson said. Now, prosecutors ridiculed this idea, arguing that Thompson is an adult capable of making his own decision and told the jury that Trump was not the one on trial. This is not President Trump's criminal trial, Prosecutor William Dreher said Thursday. The sideshow about the defense attorney trying to make you mad at Trump is just that, a sideshow. One juror told CNN after the verdict that jurors only considered whether Thompson was a willing participant. The one thing that we were discussing was the willingness. Was he a willing participant? The juror said. Lots of people were there and then went home. Dustin Thompson did, did not, and that's the difference. The juror added that they were just judging the case on its merits. I don't think anyone thought about Donald Trump, even though clearly a lot of people have feelings. Now, this can be an impact on future cases because the guilty verdict could have major implications for the numerous other defendants who have attempted to shift blame onto the former president. Judges have been largely skeptical of Trump made me do it arguments from defendants, but this is the first time a jury has formally rejected it as well. It could also reverberate into Trump's own legal challenges. Trump is facing numerous civil suits for allegedly inciting the mob. A federal judge in California said last month that it was more likely than not that Trump had committed a crime by trying to influence then Vice President Mike Pence to reject electoral college votes. The jury of seven men and five women deliberated for less than three hours on Thursday as he sent Thompson immediately to jail pending sentencing. Wow, Walton said, you make your bed, you lie in it. Thompson then took off his tie, belt and jacket and was handcuffed behind his back by a deputy U.S. Marshal and escorted out of the courtroom. The most severe charge that Thompson was convicted of was obstruction of an official proceeding, a felony, carries up to 20 years in prison. He will be sentenced in July. Nearly 800 people have been arrested in connection to January 6th, and more than 250 people have pleaded guilty to federal charges. Who 
these people have been convicted by jury so far, excuse me, three people, three people have been convicted by jury so far with several more trials scheduled this case. Now, I want to comment on this because, you know, I said in my video prior, the one that I did when I gave you, uh, you know, that it, when I first did the video letting you know that there was a U.S. writer, uh, you know, Justin, just, Justin Thompson uh, stating that he um, felt that he was, you know, influenced, you know, by Donald Trump and that he was vulnerable and he was acting up, you know, in on the bequest of uh, the behest of our Donald Trump. But again, I'm with the judge. Like I was saying, don't let people lead you off of a cliff just because they say jump. Don't you jump off of a cliff. You don't. Donald Trump is not going to help you. He's not going to help you fight your battles. And he's certainly not going to serve your jail time. Now, you have been immediately, after your conviction, immediately told to be taken to jail. So now you are in jail. You have to wait, you know, to try to get out of jail, I guess, or wait your sentencing because you were found guilty and you will not be sentenced to July. So I'm with the judge. You are an adult. You have your own decisions to make. And you can't use Donald Trump, even though Donald Trump had something to do with this, and we know that he did. But, how, you know, as far as trying to cite the riot and that wanting the recall and, and, and threaten Pence, we understand, we've read that, we've seen it. But however, you are still an adult, and you should not have allowed yourself to get caught up in some matters of the heart, because now you are going to have to search your heart and your soul, because now you are facing jail time. And it's no joke facing this jail time, and you have lost your livelihood, you have lost a lot by going along with Donald Trump. So uh, at the end of the day, a lot of you people that felt that Donald Trump, that you were going along doing what Donald Trump wanted you to do, Donald Trump was looking for power. That's pretty much what he was looking for, in my opinion. And you going along with that, now look at your life. And Donald Trump is not going to be anywhere to be found near you. He probably will not come visit you in prison. He will not pay any of your legal fees or put money on your books. He's not going to go to Walmart and, you know, send money. He's not going to do none of those things. It's unfortunate that you listen to Donald Trump. So let this be a lesson to a lot of people. Stand on your principles and values. Do not allow people to lead you down the path of destruction. Because now look where you're at on the path of destruction and this is going to stay with you forever and it doesn't say that he has children he's 38 i believe years of age it doesn't say he has children or a family and uh you know if you have children you know um unfortunately you know i'm sorry that your children will have to deal with this you know if you do have children uh dustin but however let this be a valuable lesson to you do not allow people to lead you off of a cliff. You just can't do it. And uh, again, Donald Trump is not here to help anyone. Donald Trump is selfish. He is about himself when it comes down to what was going on with this election. You know, and some people may differ with me that voted for Donald Trump, you know, and I, I'm not saying one way or the other. I'm just saying, I'm just saying at the end of the day, Donald Trump is not going to be spending somebody else's jail time. He's just not going to do that. And he is not going to step up to the plate to help you any way, any time, any soon. And Donald Trump, uh, there's other things that's going on with Donald Trump. And even his daughter, they believe, allegedly testified against her own father when she went before uh, the grand jury or whatever. They said they believe on Capitol Hill or wherever she was at. He testified against him. Donald Trump is going to throw folks under the bus. Believe me, he is not going to go down and he's not going to let you all take him down. He's just not going to do it. I mean, it's unfortunate. Uh, you know, so um, Dustin, I, I just, you know, hey, you know, let this be a lesson to you and all other people that want to jump off the cliff for somebody else. If they're not holding your hand and jumping with you, then don't jump. Tell them to jump and you go on about your business and keep living your life the way that you should. Well, you guys, leave your respect, excuse me, respectful comments below. I truly appreciate you tuning in. And um, don't forget to 
uh, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. And my opinion doesn't necessarily to, uh, means that someone else's opinion supports mine. But however, you're more than welcome to tune in. You're more than welcome to put your respectful comments on the video, you know, but I'm just giving you updates on what it's saying and then my opinion. So God bless you all on this evening. Bye.